You are here. It is time to relax. Today we will be taking our time talking about another topic on the poll I did a few months ago based on depression, anxiety, mental health, and awareness. Just in general conversation, I think it's important that we can freely express our point of view, our thoughts and experiences. Humanity is all about being human. Today, I am at the place that has changed my life. And today is a very special, beautiful, sunny day, the perfect temperature, and the perfect cool breeze from the lake. This is the Sterling Nature Center. A few years ago, I started coming here to see the Great Blue Heron Rookery. It is peaceful, beautiful, and a sacred place for many different types of birds and wildlife. But it is just one of the many places that strongly connects the herons to nature and to us. The heron has taught me many things. In a few of my previous videos, I spoke about the heron. Right from my very first experience, the heron has been very special to me. I see the heron as a protective source that is a guide of patience throughout life. I had so many strange experiences from the time I was a small child to now as an adult. And it might be strange to say, but nature has healed me more than anyone or anything else. No medication can come to any comparison to the magical healing ways that nature can be. Let's dive into this conversation and hopefully we can learn something from it together. Over the years, mental health awareness has become more of an acceptable topic of discussion because many people deal with either one or the other thing or a little bit of everything. We are all different but are all interconnected in some way. So which one should we talk about first? They're both polar opposites, but are both just as heavy of a battle to the next. They can somehow simultaneously work together and against one another in a single moment. Depression in my personal experience is a little more difficult, but for you it may be anxiety or another issue. Everyone is different and experience things slightly different from the next. I would like to create a safe space to talk openly about this because not only does the sake of the conversation topic matter, but most importantly, you matter. Depression. It cannot be described in one word. The symptoms vary slightly for everyone, but let's look beyond that. We know what it is, we know what it does. How can we help one another now and prepare one another for the future episode of it? It will pass. Believe it, know it. From days to weeks to months and even years may go by, but it will ebb and flow. It will get easier and harder it is not within your control. It comes and goes. You do not come and go. You do not pass. It will pass. All emotions and happenings in life come and go. Time goes on and you will as well. 
They say try to exercise, but you are stuck in bed, probably at the most demotivated spot in your life, as it feels that way. Such an immensity, but you feel so small. You can't move. It disables you. Sleeping all the time and yet not at all. Time almost stands still, but it will not wait for you. It continues moving as it sets the example that you will too. Tell yourself affirmations. Try to express the sadness out of you. Talk to a friend, a family member, a pet, even yourself. Know that you are normal, that you will be okay. You will surpass this change. The sky can only be cloud gray and rainy for only so long, for the sun will come out to shine and the stars light the dark skies and the moon clears the path to show you light can exist within the darkness all around. Some nights will seem darker and longer, some days drag and are gray, draining and raining. So it seems. It is difficult to change your perspective when I dark thick cloud surrounds your entirety. Challenge your thoughts, your mind, the reasoning your depression is trying to force you to believe. Challenge the lack of logic your mind often brings to you. Tell yourself just the opposite. I am beautiful or I am handsome. I am a good person. I radiate positive energy. I am loved. I am needed. I matter. I am enough. And I am worthy. Look how far you've already come in your life. All of the past challenges and obstacles that tried to stop you, and somehow you found the energy to power through it. You've come this far. Don't stop. And right here, right now, the moment today, I was so very grateful to be here. Such a beautiful day. And the herons and their babies were out in their nest. It was so peaceful. Anxiety. I have talked quite a bit about anxiety 
in some of my previous videos, it is not any easier to overcome than depression. It is also a waste of space in your mind. Worrying and anxiety get you somewhere in some situations. But most everyday occurrences are not as bad as the mind makes them seem. Sometimes they haven't even happened yet and your mind will assume it is going to go horribly wrong without any factual evidence. It is fear. It is a disease of the mind, body, and soul. I try to help people with anxiety as mine used to be crippling every day. I experienced a lot of traumatic events in my life and this may have helped desensitize me to some things that my old self would be terrified of. But who I am today is accepting of challenges and unfortunate events. There is a switch that I was able to turn off. I learned how to stop my own fear, worrying, and anxiety. I learned it through reading books, journaling, meditating, even talking to myself in the mirror. It has really helped me tackle my anxiety and improve my quality of life. Just stop and take a deep breath. Your mind begins to race. Picture yourself in the center of all the chaos. That you are still and unchanging. And everything around you is going crazy, out of control. That is exactly what it is out of control. Center yourself. Be the control. Realize you are not changing, that whatever the source of the anxiety is for you cannot control you indefinitely. It will not exist forever. It may never happen or exist at all. The situation has a good chance of working out. The problem can be solved. It will not remain this way forever. It will pass. Challenge the thoughts. Rule out illogical thoughts. And believe in the process of life. Trust time, trust nature, trust the present, trust yourself, trust the process, and trust life. It is so precious, it is a gift. Not everyone that could have been created gets the chance to live. Not everyone or everything gets a chance to even exist. And yet somehow you made it here. Through all the universes, stars, planets, continents, people, you somehow are here. You were chosen to have life be given to you. And you can do whatever you want. You can have whatever you want. The peace is within and all around you. And it will never leave. It will always be there. It will always be here. Now question, how could anxiety ever have power over a force of knowledge like that? It never will. It doesn't stand a chance against the existing.
heron is patient. The heron is logical. It plans every small step. It is careful with every move. It does not fear. Question itself. Question its own ability to catch the fish, to be able to fly gracefully in the sky. It doesn't worry about trees, wind, or lightning. Those are all just natural things that it cannot control. The heron flies through the sky, just knowing, being totally aware knowing what they are in control of and what they are not. They do not worry or get depressed. They exist as what they are. You are capable of anything. You can do this one step at a time. You are in control, but are aware of what you cannot control. With every breath, Anxiety leaves your mind and soul. Know that you are normal, but unique, beautiful, but with some broken pieces put together. You are not alone in a sea of so many people. You matter and are enough as you have come into this world. You are the master of your servant mind. Anxiety and oppression have no spot in your heart, no room in your soul, and no business in your body, a barrier of boundaries built with strength, optimism, resilience, confidence, and boundless love. Whatever thought that comes into your mind or whatever emotion or feeling that runs around inside and out of your body, 
Do not allow it to break your barrier. Allow the thoughts of love, unconditional acceptance, hope, strength enter and protect you. I hope my perspective helps you through whatever you are going through. Even if just for this moment, know this moment is yours. You can come here anytime, again and again. Listen to my point of view and it may help you. Just know you're not too weird, too crazy, and too out of place. You are who you are supposed to be, and you are right where you need to be. And here is my very special blue heron necklace that I got about a year ago in Mount Washington, New Hampshire. Thank you for visiting. Good night.